in what way is today's gospel a catechesis for us all what are the three conditions for discipleship what is the significance of the two parables given by jesus all these questions and more answered during today's episode of daily reflections the gospel today speaks about discipleship and presents the conditions for being a disciple of jesus Jesus is on the way to Jerusalem where he will soon die on the cross. This is the context in which Jesus speaks about discipleship. The gospel today is a beautiful example of how Luke transforms the words of Jesus into catechesis for the people in the community. The gospel speaks about three conditions. The first condition is to leave family. Some reduce the force of the word to hate and translate it as to prefer jesus to one's own parents in another place jesus says one must love and respect one's parents is this a contradiction the force of the word is typically semitic matthew uses the term loves father or mother more which shows the meaning of hate is rather to love less at the time of jesus social and economic conditions led families to become self-contained This prevented them from fulfilling the law of ransom or liberation which calls one to help one's brothers and sisters in the community who were in danger of losing their land or becoming slaves closed in upon themselves the family's weakened life in the community Jesus wants to reconstruct life in the community this is why he asks to put an end to the restricted vision of the small family he asks the family to open itself and be united to the large family of community this is the sense of hating father and mother and wife sons sisters and brothers the familial bonds of union cannot stand in the way of the formation of the community the second condition is to carry the cross in order to understand the importance of the second requirement we have to look at the context in which luke places the saying of jesus Jesus is going towards Jerusalem to be crucified and to die. To follow Jesus and to carry the cross means to go with him up to Jerusalem to be crucified with him. This recalls the attitude of the women who followed and served him when he was still in Galilee. There is a cost to discipleship. Jesus wants to be accompanied by friends, not by complaining conscripts. He paints a stark picture asking if we are ready to accept difficulty with him if we are we know that he will not leave us alone but will carry our burdens with us and show us what love and courage means the gospel speaks about the two parables both of these parables have the same objective that people may think hard before making a decision in the first parable about the man building a tower we see that this parable needs no explanation it speaks for itself let each one reflect well on his or her way of following jesus and ask him or herself if he or she values the conditions before making the decision to become a disciple of jesus the second parable of the king marching for war has the same purpose of the one before some may ask how is it that jesus uses an example of war the question is a pertinent one for us today At that time of Jesus though wars were similar to commercial competition between enterprises which nowadays struggle among themselves to obtain the greatest profit or gain at the expense of the other the conclusion is only one to be christian to follow jesus is something serious for many people today to be christian is not a personal choice and neither is it a decision for life but a simple cultural phenomena Here are some points for a personal reflection. To follow him means to die to self, but dying brings life. How do I feel about that statement? Is there anything that I am holding on to tightly that might be hindering me from following Jesus? What would help me to loosen my grasp on these false securities? These points can be of great help to reflect on today's gospel. And if you like our reflection, Do share the good news of our Lord. Have a good day and may God bless you all. Amen.